Jesus said, when you pray, pray in this manner. Why? Because the Bible says forever, oh God, your word is settled. Where? It's not settled on earth. The word is settled in heaven, not on earth. Anywhere you see what settled on earth, somebody made it settled. Your marriage is settled in heaven, but it's not yet settled in your house. By heaven's calculation, you have wedded. But what men can see, you are still single. Forever, oh God, your word of prosperity is settled in heaven. But here, you are opposite of what he said. Then Jesus said, when you pray, pray in this manner. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. That word that is settled in heaven. Let it settle here. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As you settle it there, he said, it is in prayer that you make it settle here. He said, if you can't pray, it's settled in heaven, but it's not settled here. Your money is settled in heaven, but it's not settled here. Your healing is settled there, but it's not settled here. It's at the mercy of your prayer. The action of prayer makes it settled. Apostle Paul said, he had, had pastors giving us the spirit of boldness. But in another scripture, he told them, pray for us that we may have boldness. So it is prayer that make you have what is given. There is difference between allocation and possession. There are many people, they have allocation paper of a land, but they have not taken possession. And can I tell you, you can die with allocation paper without possession. In my radio montage, I said, life is a journey. Fools depend on their legs. The wise depend on their knees. To kneel is to win. Anybody that can kneel can stand anywhere. A preacher said, if there is a man to pray, there is a call to answer. What prayer cannot do, more prayer we do. More prayer. He said, if we faint not, we will have we will reap. Read your Bible. James said, before you run it, because the book of First Kings said, Elijah came out and locked heaven and traveled. Some people even say, he locked heaven, put the key in his pocket and traveled. Correct. Correct. He came back and unlocked it. Correct. James said, hold on. Before you go and be declaring like you had, let me show you the things that he did before he declared. Even though it was God that told him, I want to bring rain. Even though it was God that said, go back, I want to bring rain. James said, he was a man of like passion. But he prayed earnestly that there may be no rain. So he, before declaration, there was prayer. It is prayer machine that made what machine manifest. Your theology can only be converted to a pneumatology if there is neology. Hey. If not, you'll be quoting scriptures that cannot apply to you. Michael. I've seen people with color and they're in bondage. I've seen people that preach in the day but they have been oppressed in the night. They go secretly for deliverance because their theology have not met with neology. So it's impossible to have a pneumatology. Is dogmatism. Later that kill it. Without prayer, you will be quoting prophecy that you will never see manifestation. You will quote it until you become a shame and a mockery to your generation. 